Man, 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 man. Oh! Brother, 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 brother. I know what Q was doing, man, but this is why you gotta... You gotta do things why you got people in your life, man. You know, you can't keep playing these waiting games, Q. You know, it, you should have been made. You should have been made last the last Friday. You know what I'm saying? Now you lost John with the spoon. We just lost Debo. You know, Tiny Lester. Tony Tiny Lester, man. I mean, we just lost him, man. I'm I'm just down about that. Really down. That hurt my heart, man. That really just hurt me. Oh, man. Debo gone, y'all, at the age of 62. I first remember him from the movie Disorderlies with John Candy. That's the first time I ever seen him anywhere in anything. So that's how I knew when I saw him on um, when he played Zeus. Most people hadn't recognized him. So when he went to WWF and played Zeus, you know, that's when people, you know, really start paying attention. But he was on the Robert Townsend. He was in Robert Townsend's Partners in Crime. He had a role, role in there. And one of the skits, when they were out there filming with Kenny and Ivory Wands and all those guys, and he was in the skit. Then after the Disorderlies, he did uh, play Zeus. He was uh he played in a movie where he played a mute and or somewhere he couldn't talk or something throughout the entire film. And his mother loved that role, you know, more than all of uh, his other roles. He was in Posse. I don't know if that's the movie where he played the mute or not. I remember he was in that. Before all this was before Friday, you know, he was such like a total gentle giant, and people don't know the real Debo passed away. The guy who really was the guy that played Debo, Ice Cube, just gave him a shout out, like about a week ago, or like a couple weeks ago. I mean, like seriously. So when they said Debo died, I we thought it was Tiny Lester. We was like, whoo. Like, man, I thought it was him. I swear this was about two weeks ago. We were just sitting here saying that. Like, man, whew. you know, I'm sad that that dude died who they based the character off of. But, man, you know, like, this guy here, you know, this Debo. When I heard that, just broke me all the way down. So, pray for his family, man. I mean, him and Chris Tucker, they went to the same church for years. It's like a lot of Hollywood people in that church, but, you know, they went to the same church for years, man. And he was such a, it's like most of those big guys are the most gentle human beings on earth. You know, and he was just so nice, man. Like when I first saw him, I didn't know if he was looking at me or I was looking at him. But I knew one thing, he saw me. And this was little after he had did Jackie Brown. 
He sure is a biggin. <laughs> he working with you? Yeah. I bet it was your idea to take that picture, wasn't it? <laughs> no, I give you his beeper number. I mean, any role he's in, if it's just for two seconds, you know, you remember him. My uncle ran into him in Chicago, and this is when he was doing WWE at the time. Doing all the wrestling stuff. And they was like, man, you a wrestler now? He's like, man, I'm an actor. <laughs> he was like, man, I'm an actor. I did the movie, and they were like, you were so great and believable in the movie. Vince thinks he can, you know, work you in a couple of roles for the, uh, for wrestling. He was like, man, I don't wrestle. <laughs> He said, we will work with you on some guys, and just with your strength alone, you know, guys will walk you through. You won't have to do much. You don't have to, like, sell any moves. And he really didn't. He just stood there and got hit and would smile every time somebody hit him. He just started laughing <laughs> like it had no effect. And he just basically choked people and beat himself on the chest. Zeus had no moves. <laughs> He didn't have a drop kick. He didn't have. <laughs> he was going to do none of those moves. Now, he was very athletic. You know, Zeus was very athletic. Uh, well, I'm calling him Zeus. Tiny uh, Lester was very athletic. You know, played a little football. He had injured his knee one time. And that's when he's like, man, I'm through with this wrestling. <laughs> he was, what? He's like, I'm through with this wrestling. I'm going back to acting. <laughs> this was like, man, we just did a pay-per-view. <laughs> man, I'm done. <laughs> I had my knee swelled up. He's like, his knee swelled up so bad. And they were like, take a couple of these pills. Wrap that up and let's go. No, uh, that wasn't the case. That wasn't the case for him. But when I saw him, he had did Jackie Brown. And we were getting ready for... I think Floyd Mayweather was in training for a fight. To fight, I believe, Diego Corrales. So the promotion was for that. And we were in Las Vegas. But for some reason, we had to land in Los Angeles or something. So we was in L.A., Los Angeles, L or at the LAX. And as soon as we had the L LAX... There he was. And I didn't know if he was looking at me and I was looking at him. I'm like, I'm like, do he see that I'm looking at him? And then he was like, oh, <laughs> hey, what's up, brother? Yeah, I'm Tony. I'm like, Tony, oh, how you doing? I'm like, man, you was Zeus. You was in that. Oh, you saw that movie? And he was so nice and cool. Man, I was like, man, you would have had a good career as a wrestler. You was believable. Oh, thanks, man. He's like, I didn't want to fail nobody, man. I didn't want nobody to look at me like a fake. You know, like, I didn't want to do the wrestling dis disservice. But now, him being an actor going into wrestling, it had been a little harder to do. A lot of people didn't know who he was, except for, like, us who watch movies all the time. People now hitting me up telling me, Debo gone, Debo gone, Debo gone. So, I got y'all messages, man. But he left a legacy. 
I mean, remember Dark Knight Rises? My man came in there on Dark Knight Rises and had one memorable, memorable, I mean, memorable role. He was on there screen time probably less than five minutes. Give it to me. Give it to me. And I'll do what you should have did five minutes ago. <laughs> Give it to me. And I'll do what you should have did five minutes ago. <laughs> he threw it out that window so quick. And man, it was... <laughs> Tell him I took it from you. Give it to me. <laughs> Man, it was that. That one line in Dark Knight Rises was epic. Slept on, but very powerful moment. Then they threw it away and they all prayed. That's real. That's real, man. That's real. Man, I tell you. The world's going to be a sadder place without him. Gone at the age of 62 from a heart attack. You know, it's... He gave a lot to us. He gave us a lot of memories. A lot of memories, man. Rest up. Be easy. Here's what I want you guys to do. List me your favorite movie you've seen him in. He was in a lot of them. Y'all might have some that some people ain't seen. Put y'all favorite movie in the comment section. For my man, Tiny. Tony Tiny Lester Jr. Debo. Debo! Debo! Who else wants some? Who else wants some of Debo? If you don't get involved, I'm going to knock your ass out too. Make a choice. <laughs> oh, man. Debo gone, man. Debo. Debo. What's up, Smoke? What's up, Red? What you got on my forty, homie? Bunch of high rollers and y'all broke. We ain't got nothing, man. Don't lie. <laughs> what you got, Red? I ain't got nothing. Yeah, you got something. What you got on my forty, homie? My mama gave me that change. Shut up! I knock your ass out. Oh my goodness, I'm a Miss Debo, man. I'm a Miss Tony, man. Tidy. That performance was epic. Epic. Beat him down, I beat you down. Debo. <laughs> man. I'm out. Debo, man. Yeah, they got Debo, man. Got 
got to hold our head up one day at a time, baby. We're going to them gates. <laughs>